Yeah, I really don't miss the lightness. <laughs> this this suits me much better. I mean, not everything is written down. I'll write notes when I think, oh, that's interesting. I must think about that some more. You know, I'll write it down. I'm not a great planner because I like to leave quite a lot of space while I'm writing to, for things to develop. I think that's more fun. It takes me a long time. It's, it's a slow process for me. I change a lot as I go along. I don't, because I haven't planned everything out. I think you'd, I'd write much more quickly if I planned everything, but I don't think I would enjoy it so much. <laughs> So it's actually Regent's Canal. It's really close to where I live in London. So my flat here is just um, south of the canal. And it's a real mix of people around here and a mix of kinds of housing and that sort of thing. So it's a very interesting area to to sort of to people watch and to imagine, you know, who lives in this place, who lives in that place. And just I'm always fascinated by where people live and, you know, what, what, why would you choose to live down there? What kind of people choose to live down there? And there's also this thing that every now and again, you'll come across one of these boats that looks like it's kind of been abandoned. It's very dirty. It's, there could be a body in there and you wouldn't know. Yeah, I do always have to know that. I have to know the kind of who done it because that's kind of the point you're aiming for at the end, isn't it? You need to find some ways to get from here, body on the page, to somebody who's has done it. It would make me very nervous to start writing without knowing where I was going. I mean, yeah, I think that's I think that's very astute that that both Miriam and to some degree Carla, because they're middle aged women, they people don't notice them. So you can probably do, yeah get get away with more. People complain about the invisibility of of um, middle aged women. I do think there is actually there is an upside to it to not being noticed or remarked upon or have people say things to you in the street. Um, I'm sure a lot of women will recognize that. From my perspective as a writer, it is quite nice. I'm one of those people who likes to sit back and observe rather than maybe then be at the heart of things sometimes. Well, you don't really get to see, they're always mums, they're in the background doing things for other people. You don't get to see their actual life. They're not allowed to have like sex lives or dramas or what have you. And again, yes, as you say, even for an old lady, she's always like sitting there doing knitting or and not having much of a life either. So I guess yes, it is, it is partly a kind of political thing. I, I would love to see more of those sorts of characters in fiction. One of my favourite books of last year was um, a book called The Weekend by Charlotte Wood, which she's an Australian writer, and it has three characters who are in their 70s, and they're all, like, arguing with each other and, you know, obsessing about their careers and what have you. It doesn't, just because your role doesn't mean it's over. It's nice to see representation of different age groups as well as different sorts of people. Yes, I think that's very, that is true, that most of my novels are actually about murder, but they're also about love and about lost love and what losing love does to you. But we also know it's a very intense feeling that can lead to very extreme action. And, and crime is usually about love or money, isn't it? And writing about money is not very interesting. So yeah, I am interested in how relationships go wrong and what it does to us when something, any kind of relationship. Yeah, I really don't miss the lightness. <laughs> this. This suits me much better. I think I have a sort of slightly darker look, outlook on the world. I think I'm a bit of a pessimist. I think they're much more interested in these kinds of stories. But I do think I'm not the right person to write those things. Other people do that very well. I really enjoy building these dark stories. Professionally speaking, I think the, the greatest thing for me is that you get to go all over the world. You get to go to all these amazing book festivals. You get invited to things. Sydney, Vancouver. I did a tour of Argentina. All those kind of opportunities are opened up to you. That has been wonderful. I mean, I'm, it's not that I can go to literary parties all the time, but I do enjoy that that meeting other writers and being able to exchange ideas and being able to talk to other writers about their books. Yeah, I mean, it, yeah, it does create pressure, but it's, basically, it's mostly sort of a, a positive kind of pressure. Yeah, I think it's one of the difficult things actually about getting started is you tend to, I tend to have lots of different ideas about oh I could go this way or I could go this way and I've got this character who I'm interested in and also this one and but I think the difficulty is to pick one to make sure that you're on the right track and to have the right sort of story for them because I have had the experience in fact before I wrote uh, so by burning I started writing something I wrote about 30,000 words of it and then I changed it a couple of times it just couldn't make it work so eventually I had to just throw it out um which 
that was sort of seven, eight months of work. You have to really know that you've, you've got a story you can see all the way through. You've got a character who you really want to, to stay with for a long time. I've got some ideas. I've got some characters in my head, but I haven't actually started writing anything yet. I think it's just a feeling. I know when it's not working. So if I don't have that feeling, then I know that it's working. I mean, it's difficult. I don't have an exact. Sometimes you're you're like, oh, yes, this is brilliant. I, I know exactly what I'm doing here. And then you'll find the next day, it's like, well, it's all right. So I think it's a very inexact style, uh, inexact art. Sorry. I'm not a huge reader of crime fiction. I mean, I do read it. I guess mostly sort of literary, literary fiction, but it always tends to be darker literary fiction. It, tends, it often has a crime at its heart or it's, about you know set during the war or that kind of thing the likes of Laura Lippmann and Megan Abbott who are American crime writers that kind of that modern noir I really like my best friend was a big horror fan when we were teenagers so she forced me to look what a lot of awful horror films which I think scarred me for many years I do watch thrillers I, I guess probably more television uh stuff than than movies Mayor of East Town with Kate Winslet that was good it was a good adaptation of Gillian Flynn's novel, Sharp Object. I very much enjoyed the spiral of Engrenage, um, all eight seasons of it. Um, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I do watch stuff on TV. Well, I very much enjoyed, I've, I've been twice now to see the Paolo Rego exhibition. They've got a retrospect for Paolo Rego's paintings at she tells very dark stories. There's one called The Little Murderess, which you can see a, it's like a childlike person going to, obviously going to like kill, strangle someone. I love, yes, I, I do adore her work.